global value chains and innovation systems are two seemingly contradictory approaches. One focused on the global and another on the local. On the 22nd of May, 2015, scholars gathered at Old Borg University to discuss the development of a new research program. Using Globalix as a platform, they aim to uncover how these approaches can complement one another in order to better understand the crucial link between innovation and development. Their ultimate goal is to find a way for developing countries to combine national capacity building with participation in international economic transactions that allow them to escape poverty and middle income traps. Uh, Globalix is a network of uh, scholars, uh, both social scientists, economists, some engineers, uh, working on uh, the relationship between innovation and economic development. Uh, Globalization is a new way of organizing international production and organizing international trade. And this is affecting uh, the opportunities for development, for innovation, for learning, for in the end, poverty reduction in developing countries. I mean, the interest about this idea of, of, of mixing and of matching these two different uh, strands of literature is becoming lively, and uh, so many people are getting interested in, in, in it. Uh, because I think it's very clear that uh, um, the two fields will uh, um, highly benefit from cross-fertilization. There's a very close link emerging between value chains and competence building in innovation systems. There is a mutually beneficial quid pro quo. Uh, if you have better technological capabilities, you tend to benefit more. And global value chains tend to be one of the key areas of feeding in information, knowledge, and competence into local innovation systems in a large number of developing countries. Many people have looked at the sustainability question but they've looked at it from a partial perspective. So we have information systems which have been very effective at looking at the organization of science and technology. We have global value chains, which asks the question, how do producers participate in global markets in a way which provides for sustainability? And I would add a third area of research, which is the global production networks. And that's really around the importance of local, local locality and uh, social embeddedness. Uh, so we need to think of those as intellectual toolkits and to get out of our silos. Value chains somehow change the way policies should be designed and should be implemented. They, they somehow shift the focus. There are powerful actors. There is international trade that is widespread. There's uh, various forms of international openness, various degrees of international openness. And this, this doesn't happen automatically, and uh, this can represent a threat as well as an opportunity for developing countries. So if we think about Africa and the particular circumstances of Africa, at the moment at any rate it's predominantly a resource-driven economy. Although there are some signs that manufacturing will become more important, and perhaps, and only perhaps, that Africa will fill into the gap which China vacates when its wages get too high. And the issue then is, how can Africa maximize those opportunities? Question number one. Question number two, how can it maximize those opportunities with greater processes of social inclusion? Okay, the question of inclusion, economic and social inclusion of people in developing, least developed countries. Um, exploring how global value chains can actually contribute to not only generating more employment but sustainable and good living conditions of people is going to be a very important area in the future. According to our research findings that we found in Tanzania, why foreign direct investment is not so much playing uh, the role it is supposed to play in building technological capabilities because the investment, the, the FDI that we are getting, actually have the, they have at a very low level of technological capability, and uh, the technological distance is not so much. So there is very little to, to learn. Uh, the countries actually who have been most successful in in uh, uh, escaping uh, uh, these traps have combined. Uh, the idea of building a strong national innovation system with being open and joining 
uh, global value chain. Some literature sa says that global value chains requires less policies. I should say that GVCs require more policies and more modern and, and, and clever and multi-dimensional policies. Uh, we are discussing in the Global X Scientific Board and with many colleagues the idea of using Global X as a kind of platform for developing a kind of research program which combines these activities. It's really a matter of helping developing countries uh, uh, devise what the most clever policies they should put in place and how they should interact with this uh, with these new ways of organizing production and, and organizing international trade. So. Uh, insights and knowledge uh, which could help policy makers, donor organizations, etc. To, to, to help countries to escape the low income and the middle income trap.